Hi guys, I'm going to show you how to use your stencils. By now you might have cut a few out. Um, you can see I've been experimenting with these. Now I found the best one for painting is quite a simple shape. So let's put those to one side and I'll show you how I did this one. I just used a sharpie pen and drew round it. I use guidelines to keep everything in a row. And I think you'll notice I've drawn a line down the middle. So that helps us when we want to make the scale pattern. Okay, word about brushes. Lovely brush, nice long bristles, but it's too bendy. No good for stenciling because it might get caught underneath your stencil. What we want is an old stubby brush. That works much better. And the other piece I've got is I've just got a straight piece of card. This is, this is to block out some of our edges. Okay, so I'm just using watercolour. You can use poster paint. The key is not to have it too wet. If it is too wet, it's going to slosh about. So we want quite a dry brush you can dab off. So we're going to start from this end. We're going to hold our brush like a lamp post. You're familiar with this technique. And we're going to work away from... I'm going to bend the brush a bit so you can see what I'm doing. Because my camera is above me. I'm just working, holding it nice and secure. There we go, that's our first bit. I'm going to use the guard or the blocker, lay it over just so I can see the tips. Can you see the tips? And then I'm going to line them up. I'm going to shift my stencil to line it up with the marks. Now, this is the tricky bit. You've got to hold both stencils. I'd get someone to help you actually. I am going to go this go through this quite quickly. Obviously, you can take your time. There we go. There's our second row. And you can see we're getting a lovely scale effect. So again, we're going to shift this back up again. Put our block over. Line our central lines. And another one. You'll notice I'm not adding paint to my paintbrush every time. Um, your brush will hold a lot of paint in it. If you jab away and keep working it, so we keep moving down, we put our blocker over, keeping the points showing, and then we shift it down, away we go. So as the paint runs out, little circular mo movements work well. Don't jab too deep because those bristles will go under the stencil. There we go. As I say, I am whizzing through this. I'm just going to put a little bit more paint on. And you can take your time. It will give the paint to dry in between lines. Just to mention that my stencils are about 12 centimetres wide. Your fish are going to be much smaller. You might want to do big fish or we could do decorative papers. Who knows? Let's do one more so we can build up a good pattern. So you could use a biro or a little felt pen if you haven't got paints. All about trying trying it out right there we go okay wow that looks amazing um i'm going to add a little detail just using some pens uh keep it simple i'm going to do the letter d without its back there we go into each space just to emphasize the scales. You can play around with colour. We've talked about warm and cool colours. So the orange is a 
a warm colour and the blue is a cool. And then I'm just going to add another little D, but I'm going to fill it in. Now this paper you can cut and stick onto your little cardboard fish. It would be difficult to stencil onto your fish. I think we're going to explore ways of colouring your fish before we actually join them together. It's an ever-changing project. Now, I think there's a bit of something along here, but I'm not quite sure. Maybe a little line of orange. Oops. it too wet again. Yeah. So you can get your fish shape you, and you could probably stick it to your fish. I'm just going to cut this one out just to show you what it could look like. Um, you could make a little greetings card. Stick a, stick a fish on a card. They're very beautiful. Let's just clear this away. I'll do a quick little tail just to do a little mock-up to show you what it could look like. Oops. Little eye, little mouth. How wonderful is that? So it does take a bit of practice. I've been doing quite a few pieces just to perfect the technique. So, as I say, you might need hand with it, holding those stencils down. Have a little go, see how you get on. Okay, bye for now.